Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tools. My name's Boone. This week we're going to be looking at a product called Create Pack from Aloha FX. This is really one of those all-in-one products. It has over 3,600 assets and it's going to allow you to really streamline your workflow and really bang out content extremely fast. Now in my particular case, I try to produce video tutorials on a weekly basis and ideally I would like each week to take tidbits of those tutorials and share them on social media outlets, specifically Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. However, that always proves to be quite difficult because repurposing the content takes up an enormous amount of time. So that's where this product comes in and that's where it really shines. It's gonna help me as I'm creating that content, it's really gonna help me make it look more professional. It's gonna give me a ton of different options and it's gonna allow me to do it quickly and easily. So let's have a closer look. Create Pack comes with the Motion Bro extension and that's a panel right here where I can view all of the elements. So I'm gonna full screen this now you can see we have 11 different categories down here and all of these have subcategories. So if I click on typography, it's going to show us a bunch of different subcategories here and it'll show me thumbnails of all of the previews here. And if I mouse over one, it's going to give me a quick preview in the preview monitor up at the top here. Now let's say I want to really quickly create a new title for my series here. So I'm going to go and select one and make sure that I have a composition open. So I have my composition open here. And let me just go back and select this red one that says watch next. Now there's an apply button here. I'm going to hit apply. Okay, so it apply the animation here. Let's just scrub through and take a quick look. Okay, so it has an animation in and it has an animation out. And we can see with these two layer markers here we have in and out. Now there's a lot going on here that makes working with these assets very, very easy. It makes it easy to customize and it makes it easy to work with. So first of all, I can change the, the speed or the timing of the in and out animation simply by dragging these in and out markers. So let's say I only want the, the intro animation to be two seconds. I can drag that to the two second mark and now it's going to retime that to make sure that that comes in at two seconds. And let's say I want it to go back out at four and then I want it to end at six. I uh, can very easily do that. Another cool thing is that if I didn't have these fonts available, when I applied it, it's going to go over to Adobe Fonts website and automatically sync those up. Now you can see down here we have a pre-comp. If I select this and go to effect controls, sometimes those comps from this product will have controls here. But for this particular one, that's not the case. So I'm going to open up the pre-comp and here is where you can see I have all the customization options. I have a control layer and I have three text elements. So let's say I want to change this to read Tuesday Tools. So I'm going to go to the first one, and you can see this is the top here. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to type in Tuesday. And I'm going to go to the second one, and I'm going to type in Tools. And down for this third one, I don't want the third one, so I'm just going to turn that off. Now we have a couple of problems here, and that it's not really uh, looking, you know, the tracking is kind of off, and the, the spacing is off. So if I go to this control layer, you're going to see I have all these different options here. I can change the color of the background, the color of the text. So what I want to do is at first I want to go down and kind of reposition this. Um, I have a scale here. I have the tracking. So let's change the tracking here. And then maybe go down and adjust the vertical placement so I can make it a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. Now I can go back and go back to the main comp. And now I have my opening title here. Now let's say I want to share this opening intro title on social media. Let's say I want to share it on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, but I want to do it in a nice square format so more people will watch it. It'll just look a little bit better on that platform. So I'm going to zoom in here. And what we can do here inside of the pre-comp, I'm just going to change the composition settings. Go to composition, composition settings. And I'm going to make this square by changing the width to 1080. So now I have a 1080 by 1080, select OK. And now you can see it automatically moved all of my assets straight into place. Everything's looking great. Now I can go to the master comp here and, uh, and do the same thing. I can change it to 1080 by 1080 and it's ready to rock and roll. Very, very cool, very, very helpful. I don't have to reposition, rescale any of these assets. All right, let's say we're reviewing products and we want to take pieces of our content and put it up on Instagram or Twitter and have emojis. And we're using emojis to kind of rank 
how much we like these products. So, you know, four smiley faces, four frowny faces, however we want to do it. So if I go over here to the social media section, I'm going to full screen this. Let's take a look at all of the, there's just a ton of different things you can use here. We have counters. We have the call to actions at the end here. If you want to put in, um, you know, basically whatever you can think of, you you have it available here. Um, even these um, like kind of periscope things um, where you have all these hearts, smiley faces. But one of the coolest tools up here at the top, we have the Emoji Creator Pro. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and move my play to the beginning and apply this. And with this selected, I'm going to go over to the Effect Controls panel and let's see what we can do here. It's just, <laughs> it's crazy what you can do here. You can customize the eyes, give the eyes a different look, um, give it kind of any emotion you want. So let's say um, we're reviewing some kind of product and we're not happy with it. So I can um, maybe find a, that's not a bad mouth. We don't want him winking. We just want to, you know, straight eyes. Is there a frown? Okay, here's a frown. We can go to the head selector, and um, it was just shit. There we go, poop emoji. I can move the mouse down, and let's say he's uh, he's blushing. Um, and we could put a heart on there if we want. No. And we can scale it down, and there we go. And this has an animation in and an animation out. And there we go, a custom emoji just like that. Another really helpful asset when I'm doing video tutorials are callout graphics. Now this can help draw attention to a specific area of my interface. So let's say I'm talking about a specific panel or a specific area in one panel. I can use a callout graphic to help draw attention to that. So right down here I can go to callouts. I'm going to full screen this. And here we have a callout. There's a, you know, a bunch of different options here. I'm going to click on this very simple one. We'll apply this, and here we have the callout graphic with the in and out animations. I'm going to select the comp, go to effect controls, and now you can look at all of the different customization options. I can change the color of the callout, the color of the text. I can reposition um, where I want that to be. I can uh, scale it down. Let's put it down, uh, down here. We can move the, where the line is located. Let's say we were going to put this over the Motion Bro panel. Um, and actually, I can, I can move the position. Let's say we want that on the top left. There we go. Now I can open the comp up and the title. And we're going to type in Motion Bro panel. And actually, that's right aligned. So you can see that's repositioning perfectly. OK, I can go back here. And there we go. Now we have our callout graphic. Now there's really so much going on with this product, I could make a tutorial that's like three hours in length if I wanted to show you everything that you could use here because there's just so much going on. So I really suggest you head over to the link in the video description to check out more about the product, really look over everything that it has to offer. It's really, really great. No matter what kind of project you're working on, I'm assuming there's something here that you can really use, whether you work in news, whether you work in documentary, if you're a motion graphics artist, there's something here for you. So again, follow the link in the video description and go check out Create Pack from Aloha FX. All right, let me know what you think of the Create Pack in the comments section. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week.